I think it's recording. Oh yeah, it's recording. Hello, um, I'm gonna do a tour of the man cave today. Someone's walking upstairs. Um, I just wanted to do something different. Um, we're gonna act like I didn't have like a really miserable night at work today. Uh, but I'm gonna do a tour of the man cave. Um, just to do something different, a little change of pace and whatnot. So, um, we're gonna begin here. Can't close the flash thing. Um, over here, we have the beautiful door, right? Also, I'm gonna switch this to manual. Did that work? Oh yeah, that worked. So, here we have the door. Um, it's got an interesting design on it. Um, lots of fruit. Um, it's been there for a long time. Uh, doesn't really close all the way. That's okay. Um, next up, we have the Amiibo collection. This isn't all of them. Like, Luigi's missing, and the original Yarn Yoshi, Yarn Bay, that is mine, is missing. That is, that is my sister's Yarn Yoshi, but... Um, as you can see, we have Cur uh, King D from the Kirby line, Falco, Peach, uh, Bowser, sorry, Bowser's from the Super Mario line, Ganondorf, Falco, Peach from the Smash line, Luigi, I don't know where he's at, but he's also from the Smash line, from the Smash 4 line, while Luigi from the Super Mario line, and then Peach, who was unboxed from the Smash Ultimate line, but also still in their boxes because I just recently got them. Uh, we got K. Rool, Plant, and Cineroar, and Isabel. And I don't play all these characters, but I do play a lot of them. I just figured it'd be cool to have them. So, yeah, they get to occupy, um, technically the left speaker. So, over here is my dad's CD collection. Um, Billy Joel Greatest Hits, Volume 1 and 2 is on top because I listened to it some time ago and apparently I didn't put the first disc back so I think it's in the uh, radio that someone threw in the back room at some point so I gotta get that out eventually but yeah um, that's my dad's CD collection there's a lot of good stuff in there so um, next up daybed uh, I, I think all three of us kids I have two siblings I think all three of us got to sleep on this bed at one point or another um, and now it's here in the basement, um, so, yeah, kind of cool, uh, having a bed down here, and even cooler is that there's stuff underneath it, so, like, lift it up, and there's a ton of storage, you know, stuff being stored down here, so that's kind of sick, but also, in these drawers, I don't think, is there anything, no, I don't think there's anything in these ones, I'm um, in the middle here. That's my mic case that actually doesn't have the mic in it. Um, and here is basically all the games. Uh, you can see the Xbox games, GameCube, Wii, um, NES, SNES, Nintendo DS. Um, yeah, they all get to occupy this wonderful space. So, because they're all not really grabbed too often. So. Just below that, we have a couple consoles, GameCube and Xbox, um, having a fancy time, and a control stick. I know you can't see it too well because of my shadow. Um, basically, that is to, uh, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to mod an N64 controller so that, uh, I know this isn't going to be in focus, um, I'm going to mod an N64 controller so that... Uh, it'll have a GameCube style joystick and I want to try that and I want to eventually do that on like all of my controllers just because the joysticks will be so much better but until then uh, we have a Roku TV I uh, just recently got this but I think it'll be nice to have down here um, the whole entertainment center pretty lit um, one of the few things still out here from the entertainment center besides the thing itself is the main sound system that I hook up the computer to um, so that I can get audio 
to the speakers, but I need to replace the cables to the speakers because they're not great at the moment. Um, that would help a lot to be able to have the cables better, and then that way this speaker isn't just fading in and out all the time. Uh, CRT TV, uh, Toshiba brand, just a bunch of crap down there. I believe that is some cassettes in uh, side of that. Uh, yeah, getting my dad's stuff, DVD player over there. Over here, have another DVD player that I bought as well as a Nintendo 64 and I find it funny because it's trying to focus on the controller ports right now. And this N64 is, I love this guy. Um, I thought he died earlier in the year. I, I, I kind of just mix up the pronouns on this thing all the time. I don't know, maybe it's gender fluid, I don't know. Um, if so, we stand an N64, but uh, very, I can't think. I uh, dropped it on the way back from Madison and I thought it was busted, but it just randomly recovered one day and it still reads cartridges fine somehow. Um, HP computer, um, the monitor of course, uh, I have a second monitor that's kind of old, and my blue snowball mic. Um, oh god, I can't read on that. Yeah. Bunch of pictures I should probably do something with and my my speaker, my Bluetooth speaker, JBL Flip 4. Um, keyboard I've dropped a lot. Um, this is the office chair I got that is not very good at all. And I don't know. I need to either get the holes redrilled or just trash it. Um, the MIDI keyboard, this is an Alessis, Alessis, I don't know how to pronounce it, V49. I use it a lot for composing and writing music and whatnot. I don't even use any of the knobs and pads and whatnot over here too often. I basically just use it for the keys, but it really gets the job done, I think. Um, this is what I've kind of been keeping the N64 games in for quite a while. Um, they just kind of get stored separately because I use them a lot more. Because whenever I have people over, I, I love to play the N64 games. This isn't even all of them. Because, I mean, the N64 honestly kind of travels a lot. So those games, I think, are still upstairs in a backpack. Um, more storage. This is from a recent Walmart run. I just recently got these storage containers. So a bunch of food and crap in here. Like some Pringles, some Brisk. I love Brisk. Um, some Oreo cookies. There's some lyrics on that notepad, notebook, um, my bass amp on this bench, uh, my laptop's behind there too, uh, I think it is charging, which is good, but, um, I was doing some stuff a moment ago and I forgot to just swirl that around and, yeah, it's probably smart sometimes the basement floods. Speaking of which, I forgot to put this back inside one of these crates here um lots of this is the electronic crate um the black crate inside of there i I, I don't even know what the two with the red covers have in them but inside of the day bed way down there um inside of the day bed uh what did the black crate have? I think it's I think it's a bunch of old gaming stuff that I was like, I'm not going to need to access this. Just a bunch of cables and whatnot. So I figured it can go back there. Um, this one has my three One Night Ultimate Werewolf games that I have. I have the original game, Vampire, and you can't really see it because of me blocking the light again. But I have One Night Ultimate Alien. Uh, my vinyl player is right here, but I'm eventually going to move it so that it's kind of set in with the entertainment center. My small vinyl collection, these are mine. Um, yeah, you can see Asia right here by Steely Dan. Um, I'd like to get more sometime soon. Yeah, those are electronics. This is just a bunch of random crap. Doesn't really matter. Um, anyhow... Just dropped my phone. Uh, air hockey table that doesn't even function anymore. Has a bunch of random crap on it. And here I have a bunch of bowling trophies. 
which again you can't really see because of the lighting but oh well connects Mario Kart stuff I was into this when I was younger so have a ton of that stuff and the melodica I think the harmonica is somewhere over here I'm not sure a couple art projects from when I was really young um, some Pokemon cards um, the most important thing though of course now that's what I call Shrek um, I think that's probably the highlight the um, most important thing that I've ever owned in my life uh, I, I don't know I, I'm sorry world but now that's what I call Shrek how can you top that um, anyhow uh, I didn't even talk about this table um, million cards just a lot of cards decks of cards the bongos that are really bad don't even have a tuner so you have to tune them with a hair dryer um, an actual surviving SNES box from my dad Tetris and Dr. Mario which I played a lot of this game when I was younger I, I, I enjoyed Tetris a lot not so much Dr. Mario um, should probably throw this out this is trash activating your Windows software yeah it's really important that is so important and some wheat thins um I you can tell I'm not quite done yet because like the pool table still looks like crap um there's a lot of just junk on here um here's one of my mini collages I love making collages so all these nice beautiful people um love all these people you know um, I'm sorry guys, I'm not featuring your consent. Lots of great pictures, of course. Uh, yeah. Lots of great memories. This is from my time up in Madison. So there's a lot of good memories from here. I think, I like this collage better than my previous collages because it's a lot smaller. Just not as many photos and I feel like they all have a lot more personal meaning to them as a result. We'll say like this photo of Lily I really like. Um, I think it's one of my probably best photography shots I've ever taken. It's a really nice picture, I think. Um, there's a shot from my birthday last year, which the light is blocking. Um, some people came up just for that, which was super cool. Um, another game night, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of great shots on here, so. Sean playing piano, Mr. Lightning Manetric himself. <laughs> yeah, lots of great shots, so. Yeah. Um, I have Strawberry Fanta. That's always important. Uh, Strawberry Fanta's pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, I will not lie about that. Um, I'm trying to focus on it, but I'm moving the camera away at the same time. Uh, underneath the collage, you can see uh, the poor thing that has just been abandoned for years. I bought it and then I've barely used it since. The bass guitar. This poor boy. Not even in its case. Not my best move. You can see some stuff that I'm going to use at some point. Here, but some of this I can... And definitely put in the electronics box. So I think I will interrupt the video just to do that. There we go. Um, there's some toys over there in the corner. Those are kind of, not corner, but against the wall. Old dressers that run in the family. They used to be my dad's. Um, I've had them for a long time, but I'm not using them anymore. So, yeah. Um... Now they exist down here as extra tables and they can be used for storage, you know? That's fun. Um, it's my dad's Coca-Cola collection because he really loves Coca-Cola. And you can see it around, too. He's a big football fanatic, so, you know, he's got some football and Green Bay Packers stuff all over the place. I mean, from Wisconsin, so. Um, yeah, so, you know, a bunch of Coca Coke stuff. Um, not cocaine, but uh, Coca-Cola um, these are from Milwaukee Public Zoo, I think. Um, something I did for scouts. 
Um, one another kid and I just really wanted to get all of them, you know, all these animal outprints, imprints, whatever they are, wax figures. So, yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff over here. Um, this plaque, my dad's really. I think my dad really enjoys that plaque. I like looking at it. It's it, it's probably one of the nicest things here, and also because it's one of the newest. So, my dad did used to work for Coca Cola too. So. Uh, more connects Mario Kart stuff. Um, I don't know how much I can show over here, but it's the bar. Yeah, we have a bar in the basement. <laughs> kind of wild. Um, pretty cool. Um, that thing in the back lights up. That's sick. Um, maybe I'll turn it on for you. Um, yeah, motor Harley Davidson cycles. That's exactly how you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, my dad just keeps a bunch of stuff back there. You know, of course, he keeps old liquor bottles that he's collected and whatnot. You know, still have the drink in them too, which is kind of wild, but whatever. I don't know why this chair is over here. It's a bar chair. I kind of just have them all over the place right now. I mean, look, look at them over there. They're just huddling like, hey guys, what's up? I don't know, what's up with you, bitch? Um, I'm going to turn this on just to show you what's up. And there I am sticking once again to my what's a video swear word. Uh, I think that's a pretty good pattern. Uh, keeps things pretty family friendly, but of course that's totally fine every now and again. Beautiful, beautiful art. I think it is really nice art though on there. So, yeah, we have the fridge that only gets plugged in when we actually need to use it. Um couple windows. You know when I zoom in there. Yeah, look at that window. Uh, old American flag. Yeah, I don't think there's really too much else to talk about, so. Yeah, it actually took up like 20 minutes, so. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, my dad put a lot of love into this basement, you know. And I kind of am the one that uses it a lot now, so. Um, you know, that's fine. That's fine, of course. But, yeah, you know, why don't I actually hold this at a decent angle? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm just trying to get by right now. But I figured I'd show you that I've been working on this. And, you know, it's nice to have this cool little place to hang out. And I didn't even, like, talk about, of course, the normal futon you always see and that over there. But, yeah, I, I enjoy things down here a lot. So, and I'm looking forward to eventually being able to have people down here but I mean that said I obviously don't want to be here like living with my parents forever either you know because I want to go live on my own again but you know a pandemic can do a lot of, a lot of different things unexpected so um, thanks for watching, of course. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, I'll see you around again soon, I'm sure. Uh, I think I'm almost gonna have that mic set up for recording videos. I think that's gonna be really nice to have that, but, um, soon. Soon I'll have it. So, okay. Uh, see you around. Goodbye.